Hi everybody, my name is Inkirika Madani and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to be showing you many different looks that can be transitioned from summer to fall. This all depends on where you live. Right now in San Francisco where I live, it is really warm. So San Francisco exhibits a Indian summer and Indian summer means simply that it is warmer in the months that it is supposed to be a little cooler. So September, October, and even in November, it is pretty warm. This past week, it's actually been 85 to 88 degrees, which is really unheard of for San Francisco. So for me, that's really exciting because I still get to wear all of the really cute summer slash fall looks that I really love. So I am really excited to share with you all of the clothes that I recently bought. So all of the outfits are mainly from Misguided. I love Misguided. I will continue to throw them out as a plug because they are such great clothing for a really affordable price and super cute and definitely my style. So super excited to show you all of that. And also some Really only a few items are also from Pretty Little Thing, another clothing brand that I absolutely love. But the majority is misguided, so I just wanted to share that prior to getting started. And yeah, so let's get to it. Okay, so first I'm going to start with tops. So the first top I have here is from misguided, and it is a polka dot crop, crop top. And it's super cute. I recently went to San Diego this past weekend and I wore it. San Diego, if you guys are not familiar, is really warm all year round. I think it's the most ideal uh, weather. Um, so I wore this and I you know, didn't need a jacket or anything. Uh, this is super cute how it ties in the front. Uh, there are two ties in the front. Where are they? Two ties in the front right here. And so it cinches right here in the middle of the chest. And it's really sheer, so it's really easy and light. Um, and it looks super cute in pictures. I will uh, link all of the pictures um, down below of how I style um, these items. Okay, next top is this really, really beautiful crimson brown colored long sleeve crop top as well. This one has a really beautiful design at the chest and it is a little bit of a see-through but doesn't show too much and I love the ruffles around the neckline. This one is a little thicker so this is something that you can definitely wear standalone. I wore this to a patio dinner and I was not cold at all. Um, and it was well into the night. So this is something really cute that can be styled with black jeans, um, a black skirt even, and some boots. So next top we have is this super fun and out there, I guess it's a rose um, baby pink top, I would say. It is so cute, it is such a statement piece. With this shirt, you really don't need much else um, that is bold because this is your focal point. This shirt blouse is very beautiful. I wore it actually on my birthday to a birthday dinner, sorry, to a birthday lunch out in San Francisco. And I got so many compliments on this shirt. It, it was a crowd pleaser for sure. It has a very deep neckline so that's pretty tasteful as well not too much and it is cinched in the waist pretty tightly with this let's see, with this little rubber material and this is something that I want to point out because it is pretty sturdy and so I would recommend sizing up if you are a small, get a medium. If you're a medium, get a large, just so that you have a little wiggle room in the stomach area. But all it is in the back is a zip up to close. 
I styled this with black ripped jeans and black combat boots. So something, you know, like I said, very simple and it really allowed the shirt to shine. This really pretty cream ivory backless halter top. And this one is super, super cute. I got to wear this at dinner with my dad in Atlanta. And it's something that is super elegant, really, but also very fun in the back with the backless part. And it also has a tie back as well. So there is no zipper. Um, I really like that the detailing of the shirt allows for something nice and cute like a tie back instead of a zipper and then little pearls to clamp it at the back of the neck for the halter and little puff sleeves as well which I think gives it more of a refined look so with this one I styled it with a black skirt a midi black skirt and black booties and it looked super great and I was really excited about this one and I cannot wait to wear it again. Okay so the last top I'm going to show today is this really pretty long sleeve animal print top. This is one of my favorite tops in the entire haul of clothes that I recently bought. It is really lightweight and very cute accents in the middle on the chest area and it shows a little flap out so you show a little skin but like i said prior a lot all of the shirts show a tasteful amount it's not excessive in any way and this one also features puff sleeves as well which i personally really like and i think that i lean towards those a lot more when i want a shirt or blouse that i can wear out to dinner um or out to some nicer outing and occasion because it really looks a lot more done up than a normal t-shirt this is a shirt that i wore to drinks with my friends a little while ago and this is another one that got a lot of compliments it is something that I styled with a short black skirt and black high knee boots and as for the other ones I will link at the bottom where I posted all of my pictures showing all of the outfits and how I paired them one that is not technically a dress but is not a shirt is this midi skirt that I am absolutely in love with. I've worn this so many times already. This is such a cute skirt. This one is from Pretty Little Thing. So this is the only item that is from Pretty Little Thing in the entire haul that I'm going to show. And it hits at such a perfect length. It hits right, right below the knee, but not all the way into your mid calf so i think it is a very attractive cut and it is also very fitting so it is not as fitted as a pencil skirt but it is not loose so it fits me perfectly at the waist and showing my figure um, and fits me in the hip area as well very well so i really recommend this skirt it was really inexpensive and i've worn it so many times that i'm excited to just keep on wearing it and i styled it with a black crop top and clear heels so i will like i said link all of the outfits at the bottom now for the dresses so the first dress of the bunch that I'm going to show is this super cute skater dress. So it is a shorter length, so it hits right in the middle of the thigh. And it's just so flirty and girly and I really like it because it has really bright colors as you can see, light pinks and white. I also, as you can see there's a trend, I love long sleeve shirts. And dresses and anything long sleeve because long sleeve is the easiest way to transition from summer to fall a long sleeve you can pair well with everything you can wear it in the summer and you can still wear it in the fall and I think it is the perfect tra transition piece so as you can see 
most of the things that I've shown are long sleeve and there is a reason why. And what I also love about this dress is that there's a little tiny slit right at the bottom. Like it, like I said, very tasteful, nothing too intense. And I also like the ruching at the neckline. So this is one that I wore to the park two weeks ago and it was perfect. I did not need a jacket. I, this is all I wore with some sandals and it was super cute. I got a lot of compliments with it on it and I definitely recommend this one. This dress is this super pretty white t-shirt dress. So the material is what you would think of of a men's button down shirt. And this is just super chic. It hits really nicely right above the knee and it is long sleeve and it has the, what is it called? It has the shoulder cuffs as well at the back, if you can see right there. This is one that I loved wearing. I wore it to Napa last weekend and it's something that's super light and airy but also looks super fitted and put together. What I really really like about this dress is the cinching at the waist so this is how you secure it so that you can see your shaping of your waist and it's really cute really asymmetrical as well and I think this is one that I will definitely continue wearing as long as the weather is really nice here in San Francisco. Is this really pretty navy blue and red dress. So the red is floral. So there's little flowers all over it and it's a peplum style as well with a nice v-neck. This is one that I wore in San Diego, me and my boyfriend walked through La Jolla Cove and it was a really nice outfit to wear during sunset and I think it's super easy to dress up and dress down. I definitely dressed it down. I wore flip-flops with it and I think it's something that can really shine if you, you know, wear it with jewelry but it's also something that is really easy to wear with very simple items as well. It is long sleeve, so while I was walking for two, three hours, I was not cold at all. It was very easy and breezy to wear and to walk around in. So this is one that I really, really love as well from Misguided. Next one is this really pretty long black dress. It is a cowl neck and it is a maxi dress, so it goes all the way down to your feet. This is one that I wore when, this was probably a month ago. I wore this out to dinner with my boyfriend and we went to the Embarcadero and it's one, again, surprisingly enough because of the weather here, it was super warm. I did bring a jacket, but I didn't even wear it with the jacket because I wanted the dress to be the star and shine through. And I, I really like that it is a very simple de design, black with white polka dots, very simple, but also, you know, very classic. So this is one that I really like. It's really simple, but it is really easy to, to dress up as well. So I wore it with clear heels and some jewelry, some, earrings and a necklace and it looked really really great and really simplistic but also very stunning. This really pretty long midi dress and it is animal print as you can see. This is one that is really elegant I would say. I wore it on my birthday dinner. Uh, my boyfriend took me to Charmaine's and this really matched the setting. So Char Charmaine's if you don't know, it was a very upscale rooftop restaurant and bar on top of the proper hotel in San Francisco. So be beautiful views and beautiful aesthetic. And I believe that this dress definitely fit the part when I was there. And I actually got a lot of compliments from the waiter or just people passing by. So I really loved this one and I paired it with black strappy heels from Kenneth Cole and I wore 
gold dangly earrings similar to these and this was really really nice it looked really really great in pictures i will link the pictures at the bottom it is satin as well so i think satin just looks nicer than most other fabrics and material so i really really like this one also last thing it's so tall so i can't really show it very well it has ruching in the bottom so this ruching hits right at the calf so i think that's super cute to add a little more elegance and flair to an already very pretty and put together dress next dress is this really pretty dalmatian print skater dress so this hits right at the knee and it has really pretty ruffles right above where it hits the knee. This also features a open front. So it's this opening is right, right above the belly button. And then it has this really pretty accent piece right below the bra. And I absolutely love this dress. This is something that looks super put together in pictures. It is something that also is really good for like i said a transition from summer to fall i wore this last weekend when i went out to drinks with my friends and i didn't have a i didn't have a jacket and the long sleeves definitely were enough to in insulate uh but it don't be fooled it is pretty lightweight as well so it is something that is really good transition from summer and you can still wear it in the fall time and the neckline is really pretty as well. It has ruching and ruffles at the top. And the back is a zip up with a button at right, right in the back of the neck. So 10 out of 10, really, really like this one. I wore it simply with black boots and that was it. Okay, so this is the last dress of the bunch. So thank you for sticking with me. I know this was a pretty long haul. I have this really, really pretty maxi dress with really pretty button feature in the bra area. And then it does feature a slit that actually comes up a good amount. It comes up to right above the knee from the floor length. This is one that I absolutely loved wearing. I wore it to brunch with my best friend when she came to visit me here in San Francisco. This is super, super light material. This is one that you can definitely wear to so many places. You can wear it to the park, you can wear it to brunch, you can wear it to any excursion you can think of, I think is something that I really love about this dress. I also really love the floral print. I'm really big on florals and patterns and I think this one is one that's subtle but also really eye-catching as well. And the back, there is actually no zipper. So you just tie the back to, to cinch at the waist. It's super, super fitted. I was afraid that it wasn't gonna fit super well because I thought that I got the wrong size. But I surprisingly, got the right size and it fit like a glove it fit in all the right places and it looked more like a fitted bot body con dress instead of very loose which those are the dresses that i personally like wearing more because i think that they fit my body type more so i really really like this dress i definitely recommended it and it's from misguided we made it through the end of the haul Thank you guys so much for sticking with me and watching it all the way through. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I really love every single one of the pieces that I showed you. I absolutely love Misguided and Pretty Little Thing. I believe that they're amazing brands, so you all should definitely check out their products. I will link below two things. I will link below my website, which I am really proud to say that I work as an affiliate for misguided i shop with them so much so i'm really really excited that i have that opportunity so it would be amazing if you guys could when you do shop in misguided you can click the link below and shop through my link 
that would mean the world to me. Also, the second link I will post below is my Like to Know It. So Like to Know It, for anyone who is unfamiliar, is a platform, an app that showcases many different looks that individuals can shop through. So I am on Like to Know It and I have linked all of the outfits that I've been recently wearing and I've linked every single outfit item from the shoes to the to the jeans to the earrings to the, the dresses every single thing that is on me I have linked so you can just click the link and you can go straight to the website that I purchased it from and you can shop through that it's something that I really love using and I'm really happy that I've been using it more often and I think it's a great way to shop because it's very specified to exactly what you want. If you see something, then you go buy it. So that is all I have for today. I really appreciate you guys. I am really excited to be on YouTube and I am excited to make more videos. So if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.